हेलो एवरीवन माई सेल्फ शिल्पा शर्मा स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एस सी एग्रीकल्चर सेकेंड ईयर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ मैंगो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स आर कोर्स इंस्ट्रक्टर डॉक्टर प्रशांत बख्शी सर हु गिव अस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टॉपिक्स डेट आई विल बी कवरिंग आर बोटेनिकल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ मैंगो जनरल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ मैंगो क्लाइमेटिक एंड सॉइल रिक्वायरमेंट्स मैथड ऑफ प्रोपगेशन प्लांटिंग ट्रेनिंग एंड प्रूनिंग इंटरकल्चर एंड इंटर क्रॉपिंग वराइटीज मैनुअर्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स इरीगेशन मच्योरिटी इंडाइसिस हारवेस्टिंग एंड ईल्ड डिजीजेज एंड पेस्ट कंट्रोल मेजर्स एंड एम सी क्यूज ऑन मैंगो बोटेनिकल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ मैंगो कॉमन नेम इज मैंगो साइंटिफिक नेम इज मैंजिवेरा इंडिका लेन Family is Anacardiaceae. Origin is Indo-Burma. Chromosome number is 2n is equal to 40. That is amphidiploid. Pollination type is cross-pollination. Inflorescence is panicle. Type of fruit is drupe, and edible portion is mesocarp. General characteristics of mango. Mango, that is Mangifera indica Lin, is one of the choicest and most ancient fruits known to mankind. The mango is derived from the Tamil word mangai and was popularized by the Portuguese after their Indian exploration hence the word manga in Portuguese The mango is a very popular fruit so much so that it has been hailed as the king of fruits In Hindu Vedas the mango is referenced as the food of gods The mango is a nutritional fruit containing valuable vitamins minerals enzymes and antioxidants Today the mango is widely cultivated as a fruit tree in frost free tropical and subtropical climates throughout India North America Central America South America the Caribbean and the Central Africa and Australia Mango trees are large trees reaching 10 to 30 meters in height with a big rounded canopy that may with age attain 30 to 38 meters in weight Leaves are lanceolate to linear, glossy, evergreen in color, and have prominent light-colored veins and entire margins. Terminal panicles, type of flower cluster, are six to forty centimeter long, radically across the tree's canopy. The flowers give off a mild sweet odor, suggestive of lily of the valley. Twenty-five to ninety-five percent of the flowers are male, while the rest are hermaphroditic. Mango trees are considered to be self fertile and do not require pollinizers although research does indicate that some cultivars are self unfruitful or at least benefit from cross pollination mango is the national fruit of india india ranks first in area and production of mango uttar pradesh is the leading mango producing state with contribution of 23.06% of the total mango production whereas andhra pradesh is a leading state in area by accounting for 14.72% of total mango area under the country climatic and soil requirements the prime climate for mango cultivation is seasonally wet and then seasonally dry a dry and cool season causes uniform floral initiation and importantly synchronizes bloom and harvest Temperature below 15 degree centigrade or above 37 degree centigrade at flowering may cause flower abortion, loss of pollen viability and occasionally seedless fruit development. Fruit growth never became dormant. However, it does cease at a temperature below 12 degree centigrade to 15 degree centigrade. Favorable temperature for mango production is 24 degree centigrade to 27 degree centigrade. Mango varieties usually thrive well in places with rainfall in the range of 75 to 375 cm per annum and dry season mango has been found good to grow on wide range of soils however deep and well drained loam to sandy loam soils are most suitable for mango cultivation heavy black soil alkaline and water logged soils should be avoided the ideal range of soil ph for mango cultivation is 5.5 to 7.5 method of propagation The two basic propagation options for mangoes are by sexual method by means of seed and vegetative method by means of inarching or approach grafting, veneer grafting, stone epicotyl grafting, softwood grafting, budding and air layering. 
The best propagation method will depend on the cultivars required and the growing conditions. For commercial propagation of mango, vineyard grafting is preferred. Plantation Plantation is usually done in the month of July to August in rain-fed areas and during February to March in irrigated areas. The distance of planting varies with cultivars. Conventional spacing practiced in mango is 10 to 10 meters which accommodate 100 plants per hectare. Ideal spacing practiced in mango is 7 into 7 meters and will accommodate 204 plants per hectare. In ultra high density plantation, spacing of 3 into 2 meters is practiced which accommodate 1,666 plants per hectare. Training and pruning The training of the plants at initial stages is very essential to give them proper shape. Rootstock sprouts and low-lying branches, at least 75 cm of main stem, have to be removed. Removal of overlapping, intercrossing, diseased, dried and weak branches in old trees to get good sunlight and aeration is essential. For internal branches, pruning may be done during August to September once in three years. Interculture and intercropping Young mango orchards should be kept completely free of any weeds. At least one shallow cultivation at three months interval should be done. Bearing mango orchards are shallow cultivated in the beginning of monsoon and again cleaned in the post-monsoon season. In the interspace of the mango orchard, certain vegetables can be intercropped, viz. onion, tomato, radish, carrot, etc. Fruit crops can also be grown with papaya, falsa, strawberry, etc. for initial 4 to 5 years. Some important Indian varieties. Worldwide, there are several hundred cultivars of mango. Depending on the cultivar, mango fruits varies in size, shape, sweetness, skin color, and flesh color, which may be pale yellow, gold, green, or orange. In India, we have almost 1000 varieties of mango. Alfonso or Ratnagiri, also known as Hepas, Alfonso is widely known for its sweetness, richness and flavor. Owing to the fact, the Alfonso has been called the king of mangoes. It is a mid-season variety. It has been found good for canning purpose. The fruit quality is excellent and keeping quality is good. Chausa, this variety is originated as Chan seedling in the orchard of Tandulkar of Sandila, district of UP. It is grown in northern India due to its characteristic flavor and taste. Fruit quality is good but keeping quality is medium. It is a late variety. Langda This variety is indigenous to Varanasi area of Uttar Pradesh. Extensively grown in northern India. Keeping quality is medium. It is a mid-season variety. Bombay Green or Malda It is commonly grown in northern India due to its early ripening habit. It is called Malda in northern India. It is a very early variety. Fruit quality is good but keeping quality is medium. The Sherry This variety derives its name from village the Sherry near Lucknow. This is the leading commercial variety of North India and one of the best variety of the country. It is the mid-season variety. Fruit quality is excellent and keeping quality is good, mainly used for table purpose. Hybrid Varieties of Mango Amrapali In 1979, Amrapali, which is cross of the Sherry into Neelam, was released by IERI New Delhi for commercial cultivation. It is a dwarf, regular bearer and late maturing variety. This variety is suitable for high density planting worth 1600 plants per hectare. It yields on an average about 16 tons per hectare. Malika the Malika mango is the result of the hybridization of Indian mango varieties Neelam and the Sherry. The fruits of Malika are big and have good pulp content that is 72%. It is a mid-season variety. Fruit and keeping quality is good. Sindhu The Sindhu is a cross between mango varieties Ratna and Alfonso. It was created in 1992 by an agricultural university called Konkon Krishi Vidya Pith the poly in Maharashtra. It has a very small and thin seed and way more pulp than typical mangoes. Ratna It is a hybrid variant made from the Alfonso and Neela mango. It is considered to be one of the high yielding mango varieties. Fruits are medium sized and attractive in color. 
Manures and fertilizers. Manures and fertilizers may be applied in September to October. Fertilizers are applied 45 to 90 cm away from the trunk up to the peripheral leaf drip and incorporated. Welding composed farmyard manure may be applied every year. For trench application of fertilizers, 400 g each of nitrogen and K2O and 200 g of P2O5 per plant should be provided. Micronutrients may be applied as per the requirement in the form of foliar spray. The doses applied in the subsequent years should be increased up to 10 years in the multiple of the first year's dose. Irrigation. The very first irrigation is needed just after planting in the absence of rain. Subsequent irrigations are needed as per the need of the plantation up to 2 to 3 years or so. The interval between each irrigation may be of 3 to 4 days in summer to once a fortnight in winter depending upon type of soil and climatic conditions. Bearing mango trees respond well to irrigation and they produce more yield by increasing fruit setting and fruit retention. Such trees should be irrigated at 10 to 15 days interval during the fruit development period. Bearing trees should not be irrigated during flowering stage. Rather, it is advantageous to withhold irrigation that will induce more flowering. Otherwise, it will result in more vegetative growth. Maturity indices harvesting and yield. During first 3 to 4 years, any flowering on trees should be removed to develop a good framework of tree. Fruits generally requires 95 to 115 days mature after flowering. It is common practice to harvest mango fruits when they start falling from the tree naturally that is tapka stage. The harvesting in mango should be done in the morning hours and fruits should be collected in plastic trays and kept in shade. All the fruits on the same tree may not mature at the same time. Therefore it is recommended to do 2 to 3 rounds of harvesting in an orchard in a weekly intervals. Fruits should be harvested by using bamboo hand tool called mango picker. The yield of the mango fruit varies due to several factors which age of the tree, variety grown, climatic conditions, soil type, type of tree, on and off year and management practices followed. However, from a well grown mango tree Then in onwards the yield varies from 40 to 100 kg and may go up to 3 to 5 quintals per tree at the age of 40 years diseases of mango and control measures anthracnose or dieback dark brown or black spots on shoots whereas small rise dark spots are observed on the fruits to control anthracnose or dieback cut infested dead portion and apply borodo paste on it or spray bordox mixture at the rate 10 g per liter of water powdery mildew british powdery growth observed on inflorescence and the floral parts control powdery mildew before flowering during flowering and after fruit set take spray of 1.2 kg wet able sulfur in 200 liter of water stem borer Serious pest of mango crop it creates tunnel under bark and destroy tree by feeding on internal tissue larva of stem borer excreta is observed outside the tunnel to control stem borer insert a cotton swab dip in a mixture of kerosene and chloropyrifos in the ratio of 50 to 50 and then closed it with mud insect pest and their control mealybug It causes damage to crop by sucking sap from inflorescence stem leaves and shoot infestation observed mostly in January to April mealybug affected part dried and sooty mold is seen in infected parts to prevent tree from mealybug infestation 25 cm width polythene 400 gauze strip fastened around tree trunk to stop ascent of nymphs before hatching of eggs in the month of november and december if infestation is observed spray 2 g acephate per liter of water to control mealybug mango hopper infestation is observed mostly during february to march when the crop is in flowering stage they suck sap from leaves and inflorescence on infection flower gets sticky and sooty mold a black color fungus is developed on affected parts to control mango hopper 
स्प्रे साइपर मेथरीन ट्वेंटी फाइव एट द रेट थ्री मिली लीटर इन टेन लीटर्स ऑफ वाटर ऑन होल ट्री मैंगो फ्रूट फ्लाई इट इज़ अ सीरियस पेस्ट ऑफ मैंगो फीमेल्स ले एग्स बिलो एपिडर्मिस ऑफ यंग फ्रूट्स लेटर ऑन मै गोड्स फीड ऑन पल्प एंड आफ्टर वर्ड द फ्रूट स्टार रोटिंग एंड गेट ड्रॉप डिस्ट्रॉय इन्फेक्टेड फ्रूट्स अवे फ्रॉम द फील्ड ड्यूरिंग फ्रूट डेवलपमेंट स्टेज हैंग ट्रैप्स ऑफ हंड्रेड एम एल इमल्शन ऑफ मिथाइल यू गिनोर जीरो पॉइंट वन परसेंट इन मे मंथ स्टार्ट स्प्रेइंग ऑफ क्लोरोपायरीफोस ट्वेंटी ई सी एट द रेट टू एम एल पर लीटर ऑफ वाटर फॉर थ्री टाइम्स विद इंटरवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी डेज ऑल्टरनेट बियरिंग और बाइनियल बियरिंग इट रेफर्स टू हैवी फ्रूटिंग इन वन ईयर दैट इज ऑन ईयर फॉलोड बाय लेस और नो फ्रूटिंग इन द फॉलोइंग ईयर दैट इज ऑफ ईयर फैक्टर्स फॉर ऑल्टरनेट बियरिंग आर इन्वायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स एज एंड साइज क्रॉप लोड हॉर्मोनल कंट्रोल सीज टू एंड रेशियो वराइटल इन्फ्लुएंस कंट्रोल मेजर्स फॉर ऑल्टरनेट बियरिंग आर डी ब्लूजमिंग एंड थिनिंग ऑफ फ्रूट्स स्मर्डिंग यूज ऑफ पी जी आर्स प्रोनिंग एप्लीकेशन ऑफ के एन ओ थ्री ग्रोइंग ऑफ रेगुलर बियरिंग वराइटीज अदर प्रॉब्लम्स इन मैंगो आर फ्रूट ड्रॉप ब्लैक टिप लिप्स क्रॉच मैंगो माल फॉर्मेशन रेड रस्ट शूट गॉल साइला बाक ईटिंग कैटोपिलर स्टोन वेवल लीव वेवर एम सी क्यू ऑन मैंगो फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ मैंगो फ्रूट इज ऑप्शन आर पोम ड्रूप पेपो और बैरी द आंसर इज ड्रूप विच मैंगो वराइटी इज सूटेबल फॉर हाई डेंसिटी प्लांटिंग ऑप्शन आर सिंधु अमरापली मलिका और अंबिका द आंसर इज अमरापली सीडलेस वराइटी ऑफ मैंगो ऑप्शन आर मलिका सफारी रत्ना सिंधु द आंसर इज सिंधु फ्रूट रिच सोर्स ऑफ विटामिन ए एज ऑप्शन आर पपाया मैंगो बनाना बेल द आंसर इज मैंगो बेरिंग हैबिट ऑफ मैंगो इज ऑप्शन आर ऑक्जिलरी मिक्सड टर्मिनल नॉन ऑफ दब द आंसर इज टर्मिनल पोलिप्लॉइडी वराइटी ऑफ मैंगो ऑप्शन आर विलाई कोलम्बन ओलोर कुरुकनन ऑल ऑफ दब द आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ दब पॉलिनेशन इन मैंगो इज मेनली बाय ऑप्शन आर हाउस फ्लाई हनी बीज वेविल और विंड द आंसर इज हाउस फ्लाई कमर्शियल मैथड ऑफ प्रोपोगेशन फॉलोड इन मैंगो ऑप्शन आर हार्डवुड ग्राफ्टिंग सॉफ्टवुड ग्राफ्टिंग वीनियर ग्राफ्टिंग क्राउन ग्राफ्टिंग द आंसर इज वीनियर ग्राफ्टिंग डेट्स ऑल अबाउट द प्रजेंटेशन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग